Hey, what can I help you with? Uh, actually, here to sell my uh, Will Rogers book. Isn't that the guy with the museum when we would drive to California, you'd always threaten to take me there or something? No, that's Roy Rogers. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to sell my autographed Will Rogers book. I'm hoping I can make some money off it. I need the cash right now. I don't know anything about Will Rogers, but I know that it's autographed, and I know that it's old, so I'm hoping that it's worth some money. So how did you get it? My neighbor down the street was having a garage sale, and I saw the book. I saw it was signed, and they only wanted 30 bucks for it, so. OK. Ever heard the expression, never met a man I didn't like? Yeah. That was Will Rogers. Oh, really? He was an American humorist. Uh -huh. He was an icon. OK. We're talking the teens, the 20s, 30s, 40s, like that. He more or less replaced Mark Twain. Will Rogers was a cowboy who became a star on vaudeville, radio, and over 70 movies. He was also an amazing writer, and people couldn't get enough of his folksy sense of humor. And at one point, his newspaper column reached over 40 million readers. Back in the 1900s, 19-teens, 1920s, it was really popular for authors to make limited editions of books. And I know that this book, they printed 250 of them, because I had one years ago and he signed every one of them. So I don't have to get the signature checked out. I know it's real, because he signed every one of these books. What's the note say, Pops? Not a bestseller, but five years after Prohibition, it's hard to have a bestseller. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what that means. <laughs> I have no idea either. OK, um, if you were in 1925 and you read, the, read this book, you would laugh your ass off. Okay. Maybe to you and everybody else in the 20s, I mean, I just watched a movie where a guy got all the hair on his chest waxed, and that was funny. Corey is convinced that anyone born before 1980 couldn't possibly be funny. But I know enough about this book to know I can sell it. It's a limited edition book signed by Will Rogers himself. The man is an American icon, and his stuff sells. So what do you want to do with this, man? I'd like to sell it, to be honest with you. So how much were you looking to get out of it? About 500 bucks. Realistically, I mean, it's not in the greatest shape. OK. Books aren't great sellers. They sit for a long time. And there's not that many nerds out there like you. Not a nerd. I just read a lot. I'll give you 100 bucks for the book, dude. <sighs> Would you give me 250 for it? I mean, it's a cool book, man, but it's just not as collectible as you think. How about uh, 200? <sighs> what do you think about 200? Yeah, 200 is fair. All right, let's go do some paperwork. Man. Sounds good. Thank you. I was kind of mad when the younger guy stepped in because I really thought I could get more out of the older guy, but unfortunately, I didn't. 